of all, I am Artifacts of Mars. And here's a story from the Wall Street Journal. U.S. is set to approve the moon mission by commercial space venture. In other words, a private company called Moon Express is getting wants to send a scientific package to the moon. And I applaud Moon Express for doing this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going off on them. But what I can't figure out is why they need to go through all these bureaucratic hurdles. Is this supposed to be a free country? I guess it isn't. The expected decision said the people familiar with the details is expected to set important legal and diplomatic precedents for how Washington will ensure non-government pro projects comply with long-standing international space treaties. Uh, the private companies. The principles are likely to apply to future spacecraft who, whose potential purposes range from mining asteroids to tracking sp space debris. Approval of a formal launch license for the second half of 2017 is still months away, and the proposed mission poses huge technical obstacles for the Moon Express, including the fact that the rocket it wants to use hasn't flown yet. Well, that, uh, yeah, that's an issue there. How we don't want to blow up. But the project's proponents have considered the federal clearance of a suitcase size MX 1 lander and its payload, as well as approval of a planned two week operation on the moon itself, pose the most significant legal challenges to the mission. In other words, they gotta jump through more hoops than a circus animal in order to get going, uh, get on the moon. After months of lobbying by Moon Express officials and high-level deliberations, various federal agencies led by the White House Science Office, the people familiar with the matter said the company appears to be close to obtaining what it is called mission approval. Until recently, Moon Express faced the regulatory catch-22 because there was no template for getting Washington's blessing for what it proposed. This is what pisses me off, is that I have to go through all this crap just to send a 20-pound pack instrument package to the moon. Your own government is stifling this country. An FAA spokesman said the agency is currently working through the interagency process to ensure mechanism is in place that permits emerging commercial space operations such as Moon Express. But the agency declined to elaborate until this process is concluded. Well, Based on in Cape Canaveral, Florida, Moon Express, which has 40 employees, was co-founded by Naveen Jain, a Silicon Valley entrepreneur and philanthropist, and Richards, along with another longtime space expert, Barney Powell, former NASA scientist. Mr. Richards is also founding founder of International Space University, a private institution that trains space scientists which has a central campus in Strasbourg, France. That's Bob Richards, chief exec CEO. We've become a regulatory pathfinder out of necessity. Because in the past, only governments have undertaken space missions beyond Earth orbit. Well, it's crazy. This is my whole point. It's crazy that these people have to go through all this crap just to uh, uh, attempt this. 
I worry about the uh, rocket never having flown. I mean, what is it? Experimental? That could be a problem. They've been, they don't call it rocket science for nothing. And that, who knows, it could blow up on the launch pad. Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. This is your government at work. Uh, this is your government at work stifling innovation is what it is. Thanks for watching. See you next time.